Zach is back with a Hulu original review. And today I'm reviewing devs, and I just wanted to say, Hulu, look at me Hulu, stop fucking up good plots. I was really going into this, this show wanting to like it. I, I love Alex Garland as a director. For people who don't know him, he has directed Ex Machina and Annihilation. And I really, really enjoyed those movies, like a lot. I really like movies that dive deep into a subject like what makes a human a human, or deconstruction and reconstruction, and cancer and things like that, like Annihilation. So I was expecting the same type of intrigue in this show. Before I get into sh explaining to you guys why devs kind of fuck themselves, I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys what they did right. Just like Ex Machina and Annihilation, Devs has great cinematography, like top-notch A-plus cinematography. Acting in Devs is just like Ex Machina and Annihilation, top-notch acting. They also have great music in the background, great tense music that really builds the tension. I, I really enjoy that when they put that into the movies and shows. And Devs has a thought-provoking story that has a deeper meaning, just like Annihilation and Ex Machina. Devs storyline is about a tech giant that has a supercomputer that has an algorithm that can predict things. That's a predicting algorithm. That's probably what I should have said. <laughs> and this computer has this algorithm that is so precise and so powerful that can actually predict what living organisms are going to do before they do them. Virtually meaning that this computer is like a crystal ball, that they can kind of just see what people are going to do before they do them. They can see in the future, basically. This computer is just very powerful. It's not magical at all. It has no divine intervention. All it does is calculate causality using ones and zeros. And what's interesting about this very powerful computer and where all the, the intrigue comes into play in this particular story is that it ends up throwing a monkey wrench into that concept of free will. This computer actually ends up building the argument for destiny. You know, it's like because it can predict exactly what a person's gonna do and everything's causality, you know, kind of like you push a marble, marble moves. You know, if you have steps like that, you know, let's say a million or a trillion down the line, you might be able to predict somebody exactly what they're gonna do a decade down the line, you know, depending on their heritage, how they're brought up, you know, their, their brain waves, their personality traits. If you can calculate all those things and you can put it into an equation, you can actually end up predicting what a person's gonna do, you know, a decade down the road. So if a computer can do that, do you really have free will? Hmm, pondering, pondering, hmm, hmm, hmm. Great, that's an interesting concept, amazing. But the show still sucks, and let me explain why. All right, I'm gonna just go out and say it. This show should have been a movie, period. It, it's, it has, it's way too long for what it's trying to portray. This show is eight episodes long, and it should have been like two or three, so about an hour and a half, because each episode's about half an hour long. So, an hour and a half movie. Great. There's three episodes that actually portray interesting, thought-provoking stuff, and then the other episodes, the characters just kind of meander about this, like, I don't want to get into it because it's kind of a spoiler, but a certain death that happens in the show. That It's kind of like a investigation show from there on out. The problem with the murder part of the show, you know, this murder investigation, is that us as the audience actually witness this particular murder. We know what happened and we know exactly all the details. They show us in, in plain sight. We're just waiting for the main characters to catch up to us. They don't know what's going on and they're figuring stuff out as they go along but it's not interesting to us as the audience because we're sitting there knowing what already happened and we're just waiting for them to kind of catch up to what's going on, like what we know, which is not interesting at all. It's just kind of boring. We're just kind of waiting for characters to figure out stuff that we already know. What the fuck is that about? Considering we're talking about boring stuff right now, one of the biggest problems with, that I have in the show personally is that all the characters are boring as hell. They all act like robots for some reason. I'm not sure who to blame, if it's the director, if it's the actors, or the writers. I'm pretty sure it's not the actors, because a lot of these actors are actually pretty good in other shows. I mean, think about it. If this show's about causality, destiny, and, you know, free will, I want to see different personalities with extremely different viewpoints think about this. You know, how they would react to knowing that you know, destiny is the only thing that's going on, or if free will, or arguing the case for free will. You know, I want to see more of that. I don't want to just see a bunch of people who are all about ones and zeros kind of calculate everything and very robotic and, you know, we're, we're not here about emotion. We just want to explain and, and figure this out and blah, 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 and like all calm and collect. And it's like boring. Like, come on, 
you got to put some personality in this, especially something as interesting as Destiny, Divine Intervention, and, and Free Will, you know, things like that. I think that would be really interesting to get into with personality involved. I have a nitpick before I get into my verdict, and that is the cinematography. The cinematography in this show is definitely good. I, I mean, I understand that it's good. I just feel as though they kind of went too much towards the artsy-fartsy route, just a little bit for me, personally speaking. Like, for example, they'll drag scenes out way longer than they should, you know, kind of staring and pondering at a scene. And I get it. It's definitely artistic, and it's definitely good camera work. But can we, like, I just move along a little bit and feel like you're slowing the pace of the show down because you want to show off how good your camera work skills are. Don't get me wrong, I love an artist behind the camera and I and I find camera work to be a type of art. It's just that I, I felt like sometimes in this show it it almost was like I was looking at a screensaver. You know what I mean? It, it just it just things would just last way too long and I kind of got the concept way before they, they, they got off that scene. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a little too much for me. Another nitpick for me is the casting for this particular assassin type of character in the show. They casted Zach Grenier, which he's a great actor. I've seen him in a ton of other movies and shows. I just can't take, you know, pull him off the top of my head, but I've seen him in other stuff. Amazing actor, horribly miscast in this particular role. I think with Zach Grenier's character, they're trying to go for kind of like Mike from Breaking Bad, where he's you know, this old guy who has experience that also knows how to kill. I get that. That's a great idea. I love the idea. It's just that Zach Grenier doesn't feel like a dangerous person to me. You know, he just doesn't have that kind of intimidating factor. And I don't even think it's the actor's fault. I think it was also the writing because Zach Grenier as an actor is great. And he, I think he could portray a guy with a gun kind of being like an assassin shooting people. The problem is, is that the way they portray him in this show is that he just manhandles the shit out of people. Like he's not like using cunning and smarts and knowing how to shoot his gun and, you know, He's not doing any of that. He just, like, grabs people like he's, like, some 400-pound just hulking behemoth of a chad and just, like, throws them on the ground and just manhandles people that are either A, bigger than him, or B, younger than him. And he he's... I don't want to be mean, but he's not in great shape in this show. And I get that you can use technique and stuff like that to manhandle people if you have great technique. I was a... I mean, I have medals over here. I don't know if you can see them. But I have a ton of medals. I was a three-time state champion as a wrestler, and I've been in boxing. I understand technique means the world when it comes to fighting and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Problem is, though, is that in this show, he's not using techniques. He's just, like, hulking people into submission. And he's, like, shorter than everybody, and he's kind of pudgy. He doesn't have any muscle strength. Like, they should have had, like, a roll of, like, a 500-pound gigantic hulking dude, like the mountain from Game of Thrones, if they're going to try to pull that off. But for him, the way he was fighting people, I, I felt like me, a guy who's 150 pounds, could beat the shit out of him. And that, that kind of takes me out of the immersion of the show when you're having this, like, old, frail-looking guy just manhandling young you know, young spry people, you know, it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways, you guys, this show should have been a, an hour and a half movie, not an eight hour long show. It, it, it shouldn't have been that. They stretched it out way too far. There was more bone than meat on this show, if that, if that makes any sense. And, and you guys, two thirds of the show was just the characters trying to find out things we already witnessed and knew as the audience. So that stuff was boring. The intriguing stuff, you know, the, the whole like, thinking about if uh, free will exists and destiny and things like that. Interesting shit. Should have been a movie. I can't sit there and tell you guys you should watch this really long show that has eight episodes in it when only two and a half episodes are, the, are only good. I, I can't do that to you guys. That's just a waste of your time and it's a waste of my time. So I'm going to go ahead and give devs a D+. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Definitely comment, you guys, if you think I'm just completely wrong about the show and I just missed something and I'm going crazy. I don't know. Personally speaking, I thought the show was just, there's good episodes, but most of the show wasn't that great. So it was just kind of boring to me. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe. That would really help me out and click the little bell if you want more notifications. Thank you guys so much and see ya.